Hey stylers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make Pokeball bath bombs. These take a little bit of time to make, but they're totally worth it because they're so cute and they would make an amazing gift for someone who watched it a lot as a kid or who's still into it. I don't know if people are still into it. Do people still play Pokemon cards and stuff? I was personally a Sailor Moon kid, so I didn't watch a ton of Pokemon. Let me know in the comments below, were you a Pokemon, Sailor Moon, or Dragon Ball Z fan? Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. You'll need some cornstarch. This is going to help keep your bath bomb together. Next, you'll need some citric acid, which you can find in the canning section of your grocery store or on Amazon. In its place, you can also use cream of tartar or lemon juice, but citric acid is going to give you the most powerful fizzing effect. When you combine it with a base like baking soda, this is what creates the whole explosive effect of a bath bomb. If you have Pokemon figures, you can also put these inside of your bath bomb, which is super fun. You will need food coloring in the colors yellow, blue, and red. You also need this plastic ornament, which you can find at your crafting store or again on Amazon. You'll need some caps, preferably two of different sizes like this. So you're going to need six tablespoons of cornstarch, six tablespoons of baking soda, and three tablespoons of citric acid. These measurements will create one whole bath bomb. Of course, you won't, if you want to make more, then you can just increase the amount of your ingredients. I'm taking half a cap full just to set aside so that we can create red out of those. Next, I'm filling half a cap with it and then separating that into a separate bowl as well. So now we have two separate bowls. I'm putting on gloves here because this is going to get kind of messy with the food coloring. Take a spray bottle, mine is bent because it was in the heat, and fill it with about four tablespoons of water. Then go ahead and add in some drops of red food coloring. We're going to go ahead and start spritzing this over our powder very slowly. We're using a spray because we don't want the water to get added too quickly because then it'll fizzle out. You can also add in some food coloring straight to the powder if you want to make the color extra vibrant. So yeah, I'm basically just slowly spraying it and mixing it. You basically want it to be like like a wet sand. You don't want it to be too wet and you don't want it to be too dry. Basically, once you touch it and create um, pieces like this, once you can do this and that means you're done, you shouldn't keep adding water. So next we're going to go ahead and add in equal parts of blue and yellow food coloring. This is going to help, um, it's going to create a dark color. If you have black food coloring, then that's cool too, you can just use that. This isn't really black, but it's dark enough to where it can kind of, it works. I'm also adding in the food coloring straight to the powder because I want this color to be as dark as it can possibly get. So yeah, I just did that now I'm just spraying it like I did with the other color and we're just kind of mixing it. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Did I just say that? Okay, so this is what could happen. Sometimes your product might end up getting too wet. So if this happens, then just go ahead and add in some more of the powder. No biggie. So once again, we're testing it. And once you can create a piece like this and throw it and it doesn't break apart, that means that you are done. You're good and you can just set this bowl aside. And there we have it. Now, if you don't have a spray bottle, you can also do this. You can just take a bowl of water and use a whisk to kind of slowly add in the water to the powder. Pay attention to the texture of the powder. We don't want it to be so wet that it looks and feels like Play-Doh. If that happens, then you have to start all over again. Um, but if it's too dry, then that's okay. Then you just keep adding more water. Don't let your bowl set out for too long because then the powders will start to dry out. And if that happens, then just go ahead and add some more water. Okay, so we're filling our first cap with some white powder. You're gonna fill this up as much as you can. Then what you can do is you can take your other cap and just press down on it because we want this to be packed and really tight. If it's not tight, then it won't stick. So at this point, you can go ahead and add in your figure and then, and then we're gonna take this glass that fits into it perfectly and we're pushing down because we want to create a smooth line around the top. Then I'm using the back of a spoon here to smoothen it out, make it look as straight as possible. At this point, I'm taking the cap and I'm going to create a half circle, just like this. I'm scooping it out, very simple. And then I'm gonna use the back of my spoon once again to smoothen it out. I know my hand is so shaky there. But yeah, that's kind of what you want it to look like. And then I'm gonna keep filling it up because again, we need to have a ton of powder in this, otherwise it's not gonna stick together when we put the two pieces together. Use your fingers, use your spoon, use whatever you can and make sure it's packed and really tight. And this is what the white should look like at this point. Next, go ahead and add in your dark color. Again, we're gonna make sure this is packed in. So just 
spread it out just like that and this is what it should look like next take your lipstick cap and we're going to take another scoop out to create the white circle so i'm just pressing down over here and then you're going to go ahead and tightly pack in some white powder Next, take your other cap and start filling it with the red powder. We're going to repeat the exact same steps as the other cap with this one. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and add in another Pokemon figure if you have one, or you can just kind of not do that. So I'm doing the same thing with the glass once again to create that line around the edge, and I'm just making sure it's nice and packed in with a ton of powder. Now we're gonna mimic the same half circle thing with the caps and everything so that's what i'm doing here i'm using the back of a spoon to smoothen it out so at this point we're going to go ahead and add in some more dark powder doing the same thing that we did with the other cap take another scoop with your lipstick cap and fill it in with some white powder then finally you're going to fill then finally you're going to pack in any leftover powders you have because we want this to be packed in with a lot of extra powder for when we close it so that there's material for the two pieces to hang on to. But you don't want it to be too packed into where they don't close. Once you close it, you can go ahead and freeze it for 30 minutes to make sure it all sticks together. Then you're going to go ahead and remove it from the mold and set it on a clean surface for one to two days so that it completely dries. And here's a test. Voila! A perfect bath bomb that you can make right at home it's unique I've never seen anything like this you know I've never seen a pokeball uh, bath bomb so you this is a one-of-a-kind item that you can make for yourself and give it to your friends as well all right so that is the final result now if you have a couple of issues while trying to get your bath bomb to stick together or you know keep it from cracking and all that stuff I'm gonna leave a link to this amazing troubleshooting guide in the description box below so be sure to check it out it has answers for all the things that could possibly go wrong with your bath bomb so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a whole lot. And also be sure to share it with your friends. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, all under the same username, Sophie Styled. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on Friday. Keep styling.